Okay, Hurricane Barrow came through and hit us here in Magnolia, Texas at Alders Magnolia Senior uh, Adult Living where my wife and I live on the fourth floor and it did cause us a lot of problems. The first problem that it caused was the uh, ice Gestapo came by our apartment and made us dump out our ice which was uh, not very good for us and it also caused us to lose everything in our freezer a lot quicker than it normally would have. So I thought I had made all the preparations I would need in our apartment and I've got I'm going to link two videos up at the top here. One is about how to stay comfortable in your apartment when the lights go out and the second one I'm going to link is can you really stay comfortable in your apartment when the lights go out and so that video <clears throat> in this hurricane experience our lights went out for 96 hours and it, it has caused me to uh, make additional preparations from that first video about how to stay comfortable and the first preparation that I make it that I have made since the hurricane is this EU homey ice maker and uh, so let's take a look at it shall we okay so our ice got dumped out into our sink by the apartment management trying to avoid uh, floor damage and roof damage I guess the uh, type of refrigerators that we have don't allow for draining when the ice melts and that meant that after the first 24 hours it accelerated the loss of food in our freezer uh, normally it might have gone a day and a half but in this case it wouldn't have mattered because the lights were out for 96 hours but nevertheless after most of the first day we didn't have access to ice because the ice melted together and just made one big block as it melted away in our sink this little homey ice maker turns out to be an absolute positive score it's not a fail it actually does make 26.5 pounds of ice per day it takes about eight to nine minutes to go through a cycle of ice and then um, each cycle only used four percent of my blue 80 AC 70 I thought I could run this off of my EB3 blue 80 but the initial surge uh, was too much for it so I had to uh, resort to my uh, EB 70 so you will see that in my video the results I had with the EB3 uh, it may do it with the power lifting mode I don't know I didn't try it that way uh, I didn't want to damage my uh, EB3As and I did when I bought these additional things that I'm showing you in these videos I did get a bigger uh, solar generator and I would encourage you guys who haven't gotten EB3A yet um, it's it's a powerhouse. It's a good little thing. It worked well on my fans, my phones, my lights, um, and that's why I got two of them. But I would also recommend uh, buying as much solar generator as you can. Uh, the EB uh, the AC70 Blue Eddy powered this little ice maker just fine, and uh, with plenty of reserve. So. Uh, that's what you're going to see me use to power this little ice, uh, little homey ice maker. The picture here uh, that I'm showing you says that it will make a cycle of ice in six minutes. I found it to be more like uh, eight to nine minutes, but I could have been a little bit off on my timing. But it's an incredibly fast ice maker, and uh, I'm confident the next time something like this happens in our apartment we will have access to ice which is really an important thing without further ado please like and subscribe the channel and click the bell so you know when I post new videos because I have more uh, power out solution videos on the way and uh, without further ado let's take a look at how my testing and review of my little homie ice maker went on a final note uh, up at the top of the video where it says more I have links to the Blue Eddy EB3 A the Blue Eddy AC70 solar generators and also 
to this little homie ice maker on Amazon and this little homie comes in at well under a hundred dollars uh, just food for thought hello everyone welcome back to the channel today um, last week we had uh, hurricane barrel come through and it really made things difficult for us in our apartment here at Elders Magnolia so I've been making some videos on some of the additional uh, items I've gotten to try to help make it easier the next time this happens it seems like here in Magnolia Texas we have a weak power grid so our power goes off pretty often and I thought I you know I was set up for a 24-hour power outage but this last time it was more like uh, 96 hours so I thought about some more things I need to do to make our life a little easier uh, when this happens now the first thing our apartments did when the power came out power went off they came to our freezer and confiscated our ice that is in our ice maker and they made us dump it out because I guess there's not a good way for the water to drain and the last time this happened they lost uh, they had a lot of damage to uh, floors and ceilings from water dripping out and you can see we still haven't had a real chance to replace everything we lost in our freezer <clears throat> I have a solution for that that's another video but today we're going to talk about the ice maker so I got this um, it's called a uh, EU homie I don't know if the EU is silent or if it's you homie I'm just gonna call it homie this is my homie freezer and the first thing I'm gonna do is give you all an idea of how uh, portable this thing is so I'm gonna weigh it got a nice handle on the top so it's easy to lift up and you know um, when you're stuck without power and you don't have ice to put in your drinks after a day or so you're uh, you're already starting to be in trouble so this ice maker if you can see my scale here it weighs dry with no ice or water 13 pounds 0.98 so that's uh something you can move around pretty easily and i've got to find a place to store this because uh you probably could take one of these camping i don't know that the more stuff you pack away when you camp the the harder it is to have a good trip but you could if you wanted to but primarily uh, my use for this is going to be for emergency use when we don't have ice now uh, let me give you a look at the specs camera will zoom in on that but this is supposed to run uh, between 117 to uh, 120 volts and uh, 170 watts so my plan is to be able to power this with my blue eddy eb3a and I bought two of these blue eddies and they really they really saved us um, during this hurricane um, the one problem I had was I didn't have a way to charge them back up so I had to take them somewhere and charge them one time but between the two of them uh, they were able to keep our phones charged our fans charged couldn't do any cooking because that takes a little too much wattage with these but I have a solution for that in, in another video 
So this EB3A has 600 watt uh, available uh, power and 268 watt hours. So what I'm going to do is run this ice maker and I'm going to use this timer to see how long it, this ice maker takes to uh, make a set of ice cubes. I'm also going to see how many cups of water that it takes to fill up the hopper for the ice uh, because hopefully you'll have water when your power goes out but if you don't you need to have an idea of how much water you've got to have on hand and another thing is I get filtered water out of my refrigerator I would hesitate to put hard tap water through this it does have a cleaning feature but you uh, you risk calcium buildup if you're just using plain tap water uh, through this and also since it's Chinese made I bought a two-year warranty along with it this ice maker was well under a hundred dollars so the two-year warranty was a no-brainer uh, hopefully I won't need it but if for some reason I do I'm sure I'll be glad I bought it so without further ado I'm going to start putting water in, in this ice maker uh, I'm going to plug it into my blue eddy EB3A. Now uh, I watched a video recently on this uh, Blue Eddy EB3A and they were complaining about the AC not uh, being able to put out the 120 volts so if I run into that problem I just got a Blue Eddy AC70 and I'll bring it in here and switch it out but I'm hoping this one will work because since I have two of these I plan to run them in tandem and keep one charging on solar panels while I'm running down the second one. Okay, so I'm taking out, it comes with a little scoop too, that's pretty cool. But I'm taking out the basket and there's, there's two different markers down in here. Well, one marker for max and that's the maximum fill point. So I'm going to fill it up to the max and see how many cups of water that is. There's the first two cups. The second two cups. So it's looking like five and a half cups to bring this up to the fill line. Then I'm going to put the basket back in. Now I'm going to, right, let me get to where you can see the blue eddy, because that's going to be a key. It's 100% charged. I just turned on the AC. Now I've turned on the ice maker. I'm starting my timer. I guess right now it's pumping. Oh, I see a piece of tape I did not remove. There we go. Pumping water. Right now it's only drawing uh, 5 watts, which is really good news, but it's supposed to draw 170. So, okay, here we go. Oh, it had a, an overload charge on it. Let me try this. Hmm. Well, the EB3A is not going to uh, take the initial charge, so I'm going to bring out the AC70. Well, that EB3A is a little powerhouse, but it does have its limitations. The uh, 
the initial surge went over 900 watts. Let's see if this uh, AC70 can handle. Hopefully it does, or my ice maker is not going to be a very good thing for me. Okay, let's try that again. Okay, here we go. Second try. I'm going to reset the timer. Set on the timer. Okay, so the ice maker says 170 watts, but the initial draw was well over 900. Hopefully, this uh, AC70 is rated at 1,000 watts. So hopefully, when the initial surge comes in, I think that's the compressor. This one will be able to handle it. 999 and then it drops down to 182 so the initial surge was 999 watts just one watt under the thousand watt um, so I guess the moral of the story and for all my Alders friends um, buy as much solar charger as you can afford uh, those two EB3As cost about as much as this AC70 with a set of 120 watt solar panels. But I am not disappointed that I have the two EB3As because they're little powerhouses. But when it comes to things like uh, small appliances, you're going to need something a little bit more. This has 768 watt hours. So after I'm through uh, making a set of ice cubes, I'm going to uh, turn it off and do a calculation on how many uh, ice cubes I can make on a charge with this AC70. Now they make these little uh, portable air conditioners. I don't know, uh, I need to watch some more YouTube reviews on them, but they're, they're basically the same principle as the ice coolers that a lot of places you might outdoor restaurants and things like that they uh, run a fan over ice and blow out cold air that way I'm thinking what I'm thinking is I can get one of those and keep it full of ice and at least cool down an area for the pets or for my wife and I because just just to kind of take the edge off the heat but I still have to do some more testing and reviews before I'll know if I can do that successfully or not. So I'm gonna let this uh, run through one cycle. I'm gonna cut the video and I'll come back and then I'll show you what the timer says after I've made one set of ice and I'll also show you how much of a percentage that it used it from the Blue Eddy. See you guys in a little while. Bye.
Okay guys, my first uh, set of ice cubes took about nine minutes. That's not bad. Let's see what we got. It's making the second set. I think I'm going to just let it complete. Now you do have a little scoop. The water that I have in there. These are bullet-shaped ice cubes. They're kind of cute. A little bit hollow. Now what will happen is, if you don't get the ice out of the hopper here when it first dumps it in the tray, um, the water's gonna melt back down and it's gonna continue to make ice. It has a uh, add water indicator light, which isn't flashing now. It's already in the second cycle, so you can see in the Blue Eddy uh, AC70, it only used 4% of the life of the uh, charge. So I would call this little homie a uh, very successful purchase. I'm going to be glad that I have it, and uh, I'll show you guys when I eventually get the little air cooler how that's going to work. But that will help us stay cool in here when the power goes out at Alders Magnolia. And for those of you who live here who have already bought the EB3A, it does have a power lifting mode. I don't know if it would handle that initial 999 watt surge that this uh, ice maker, when it first came on, wanted. However, the, you know, it says 170 watts and it's averaging uh, 179 watts. So, uh, again, this is uh, the end of my review. Thank you guys for coming by the channel today. And this is another solution for preparedness in any apartment or especially for my friends here at Alders Magnolia. See you guys later.